In the beginning, all the demonstrations were quite colorful, artist, peaceful, called Myanmar Spring. And then gradually you see the first victim, the so-called fallen heroes. There was a woman who was hiding beyond the bus. That was the first one to fall. And then people start to be killed and the atrocity become uh, wars. Entire villages are burned down, more torture, uh, more people are arrested, more atrocities are committed and the failure of the international community uh, to provide uh, the due assistance and people have to run, particularly in the ethnic area, to Thailand to seek protection. We have raised our three finger with three key demands to end all forms of dictatorship, to abolish the 2008 constitution and to form federal democratic nation. Different international developments talking about uh, power sharing and because the military is in control and we need to compromise and sort of this idea. I wonder, have they ever reflected on what was wrong in the very beginning and what gave the power to the military to stay stage coup after committing genocide four years ago? after committing countless crimes several decades, decades ago. Now is the time we all put all our effort to ensure that the power is with us and all the military, uh, not just in Myanmar, around the world, shouldn't be inspired by the action of the military just because they have bigger end power. They are in the position as a political stakeholder. This is not fair for the country and this is exactly why democracy affects sliding this year. Now, this revolution is trying to normalize the resistance. We are going for a new normal. We don't want to repeat the same saga anymore. We need a, a breakthrough uh, with a new thinking for a new federal democratic nation. Tell your take up, get good to Sunday, my.